The defense headquarters has revealed that about 2,000 Boko Haram terrorists have surrendered to Nigerian troops since the advent of its Operation Safe Corridor Initiative, which gives low-level members of the sect an opportunity to lay down their arms and undergo reintegration into the society. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olanisaki, who was represented by the Chief of Defense Policy and Plans, Vice Air Vice Marshal Nuruddin Balugu, made this known in Abuja as he gave an update of the scheme to members of the Operation Safe Corridor Advisory Committee. AVM Balugu says that about 692 repentant terrorists are currently undergoing rehabilitation at the DHQ rehabilitation camp in the northeast and dismissed claims that some of them have been recruited into Nigeria's security agencies. As at today, over 1,000 high-profile Boko Haram terrorists or Islamic State of West Africa province members have been captured, arrested and investigated out of which over 500 have been convicted by courts of competent jurisdiction. The scheme is multi-agency in nature, with over 450 staff drawn from 17 services, ministries, departments, and agencies, with the support of local and international partners, as well as friendly nations. Operation Safe Corridor activities are guided by extant provisions of international humanitarian and human rights law as well as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <coughs> it is worthy of note that since the establishment of Operation Safe Corridor, over 2,000 low-profile Boko Haram terrorists, public Islamic State of West African province members, have laid down their arms, out of which about 1,000 have been processed by Operation Safe Corridor. Also, over 250 members, including two foreign nationals, have been successfully reintegrated by their national and state governments. The remaining 692 clients are currently undergoing the deracralization, rehabilitation, and reintegration program at the DDR camp in Gombe and Bulukutu Rehabilitation Center in Maiduguri, in Gombe and Maiduguri, respectively. I wish to categorically refute this claim and assure Nigerians that none of the clients rehabilitated uh, from the Operation Safe Corridor scheme has been recruited into the Nigerian military or any sister security agencies as, as stringent measures are put in place to prevent any such things from happening. Operation Safe Corridor is a multi-agency, multinational humanitarian scheme being guided by extant provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as international humanitarian and human rights laws.